Bismillahi wa la barakatillahi. In the name of Allah and with the blessings of Allah, I start eating. Oh, assalamu alaikum. These kebabs are so yummy. My mom makes the best kebabs. And they're uh, full of protein and iron, which is good for your muscles. I am so grateful to my mom. Aren't parents the best? Allah has taught us a prayer for parents in the Quran. Rabbir hamhuma kama rabbayani sagira. Oh my Lord, have mercy on them, even as they nourish me in my childhood. Amin. That was really yummy. My name is Arsalan Ahmed and I'm your host for Little Legends, a trivia game show for kids by kids. We wanted to see if kids like me and you from across Canada were able to take on brain-bending trivia. So we gathered up some very smart kids and we'll be testing their knowledge on various topics. I'll be joined by my co-host, Barira Koreshi. Barira? Assalamu alaikum. My name is Barira, and I'm super excited to be here. We will be talking about many things, exploring, discovering, and learning together. I hope you are as thrilled as I am. Let me introduce you to today's contestants. We have Team 1, Mahnoor and Sabaha. And we have Team 2, Masroor and Danya. Good luck! That's right, let's go meet our contestants. La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, Rabbi Zidni Ilma, why to get to know Allah? Allah has shown us brightness, the Quran is filled with guidance, science and faith go hand in hand, see the beauty in God's land, why to get to know Allah? Start by saying Bismillah, you'll succeed inshallah. Sharing knowledge is the key, here's a test for you and me. Fight to get to know Allah. Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to our Little Legends contestant. You've made it all the way to the semifinals. MashaAllah, how do you feel about this? Are you excited? Yes. Amazing, so am I. Okay, so let's dive right in. I will explain the rules. So in this game, there will be five different rounds. For the buzz-in rounds, you will need to be the first to buzz in order to answer the question. For the just-for-you rounds, only your team will get the chance to answer the question first. If you answer correctly, you will get 10 points. But if you get it wrong, the other team will get a chance to answer to get half of the points. That is five points. If no one gets the answer correct, there are no points given, and we move on to the next question. You will only have one chance to answer. In the end, there will be a challenge worth extra points. The winner will be those with the highest score. They will then move on to the finals. Remember, the point of the game isn't to win, but to gain knowledge and... Have fun! fun. fun. Let's begin with Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Contestants, are you ready? Yes. Our first round is called, I'm a Muslim. This is a buzz-in round with three questions. Remember to listen to the whole question before buzzing for the chance to answer. Okay, question one, true or false? When the Quraysh planned to arrest uh, the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he escaped to Mecca and took refuge in Cave Hira with Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq Razila Ta'ala Anhu. Team 2, Masrur and Dania. False. Amazing, you got the correct answer. It was in Cave Thor. When they were in the cave, Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq Razi Ta'ala Anho became very worried as he heard the enemies coming near. He had no fear whatsoever except for the life of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Fear not, God is with us. There aren't two in this cave, there's a third. He was talking about Allah the Almighty. The Holy Quran even mentions this incident. And Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq Razi Ta'ala Anho is known as the second of the two in Surah Toba. Okay, question two. 
Name all of the six articles of faith in Islam. Team two, Masur and Danya. Um, so, Hajj, Zakat, fasting, um, uh, and uh, Kalma. Well, not quite, but that's okay. I'm going to open this question for the other team. Kalma, uh, Salat, Zakat, fasting, and Hajj. Those were the five pillars of Islam that both teams answered. The six articles of faith are to believe in Allah, to believe in his books, to believe in his angels, to believe in his prophets, to believe in the day of judgment, and to believe in the decree of Allah. So for this round, no teams received any points. There are 28 prophets in the Quran that are mentioned by name. How many can you name? Let's ask Arsalan as well. Oh yeah, I know, Barira. Um, Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, Hazrat Adam alayhi salatu wasallam, Hazrat Isa alayhi salatu wasallam, Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasallam, Hazrat Daud alayhi salatu wasallam, Hazrat Yunus alayhi salatu wasallam, Hazrat Noah alayhi salatu wasallam, Hazrat Ismail alayhi salatu wasallam, and Hazrat Yusuf alayhi salatu wasallam, and uh, that's all I know, Belina. Mashallah, you named nine Arsalan. How'd everyone do at home? Test yourself. Okay, question three. Recite the Hadith on motives in Arabic and English. <clears throat> Team one, Mahnur and Sabaha. Innamal a'malu bin niyat. Deeds are judged by motives. Yes, that was the correct answer. A motive is a reason for wanting to do something. So the Holy Prophet وسلم, is saying that we should not just do good things like praying or giving charity just because our parents tell us, but because we really want Allah to be happy with us. Our second round is called Around the Globe. This is a just for you round. No need to buzz in. Team one, this is your question. What country in the world covers an entire continent? Australia. Wonderful, you got the correct answer. What's that sound? It sounds like a bonus question for an extra five points. Team one, can you name an animal that can be found in Australia that may not be found in other countries? Um, kangaroo? Yeah, there's kangaroos, platypus, a kitten, or and a koala. I really, really like kangaroos, so I know a lot about them. Did you know kangaroos' strong back legs helps them travel at really fast speeds and helps them jump up up to nine meters? Also, their small front legs and long, strong tail helps them keep balance as they jump. Team 2, this is your question. During one of Hazur's historic visits in 2005, Hazur, may Allah be his helper, and his Ghafla uh, visited this wonder of the world. What is it called and where is it located? Is it India? Do you know what it's called? Uh, I don't know. Team two, you got the location right, but not the landmark. So you got five points. Team one, do you know what this wonder of the world is for five points? Taj Mahal. Amazing, you got the correct answer. Our third round is called an apple a day. This is a buzzing round with three questions. Remember to listen to the whole question before buzzing before buzzing in for the chance to answer. Question one, what organ removes waste from the blood? Team two, Masrur and Dania. Kidneys. Wonderful, that's the answer I was looking for. Okay, question two. 
protein is found in foods like chicken, eggs, and lentils. What is one purpose of protein in our body? Team one, Mahnoor and Sabaha. It helps keep your muscles strong. Wonderful, that's the correct answer. Egg salad recipe. I'm gonna teach you how to make egg salad sandwiches. Eggs are not only extremely nutritious with a rich supply of key vitamins and minerals, but they are also complete protein. First, in a large pot, add five eggs and turn on medium heat. Make sure a parent is nearby to help you. Boil the eggs for around six to eight minutes and drain the water. Add some cool tap water, then peel your eggs and put them in a bowl. Now we can put this together. Now that we have the ingredients, we're ready. So, we have the eggs that have been boiled and peeled. We have our salt and we have our pepper. We also have a potato masher and the fork and the mayo. I like to use the fork better because it is kind of more small and it fits my hand better. Now, mash the eggs. They can be a little bit slippery, but keep at it. You got this. Speaking of forks, did you know people began to use forks as early as the 10th century in the Middle East? That's over 1,000 years ago. When you are finished, the eggs should look more yellow than white and very, very crumbly. Now that we have the mixture, add three heaped tablespoons of mayonnaise and mix that until you have a nice creamy mixture. Mixing these eggs has got me thinking. Ever wondered what was more healthy, the white or the yellow part of the egg? Personally, I like the yellow part. But both the white part of the egg and the yolk, which is the yellow part, are really healthy and have good protein, fats, and vitamins for our bodies. Now that we have this mixed, add some salt and pepper to your taste. There we go! We have egg salad. If you really want to have a yummy and healthy sort of salad mixture, you can add celery, tomatoes, or whatever veggies you like. Hey little legends, want to hear some egg humor? Why should you be careful what you say around egg whites? Because they can't take a yolk. Get it? A yolk? That joke always gets me. Or should I say yolk? And there you have it. Excellent egg salad sandwiches that are really easy to make and a good source of protein. Okay, question three. What substance in, in the mouth helps break down food? Team two, Masur and Dania. Saliva. Amazing, that's the correct answer. Not only do we need saliva to help break down our food, but without saliva, we couldn't taste anything either. Certain chemicals in food need to be dissolved in saliva before being picked up by taste receptors in our taste buds. Our fourth round is called This is a just for you round. No need to buzz. Team one, this is your question. The next question is sort of like a riddle. I am something that helps you move, but I am not a wheel, as I am a part of your body with a soul and a heel. In Urdu, in Urdu, what am I? What mm, next? Well, not quite, but that's okay. I'm going to open this question for team two. Is it found or fair? Amazing! That's the right answer! Flash quiz, Arsenal. Another one? Yes, another one. I hope you're ready, and I hope everyone at home is also ready, because this time, we're doing body parts in Urdu. Dant? Hmm, being told off? No, not dant. Dant. No, I'm joking. It's teeth. Okay. Gan? Ears? Jigger? The liver? Good me? me. Okay, I have one for you, Gabriel. Koni, the koni, the wrinkly thing on your arm. Arsenal, I think I know what an elbow is. Okay, team two. This is your question. I'm a fruit that is mentioned in the Quran. Even though you might think I'm a vegetable, I come with different colors. On pizza, I am delectable. 
in Urdu, what fruit am I? Olive. Okay, remember the round was Aapko Urdu Aati Hai. So do you know the name of the fruit in Urdu? Zaytun. That is correct, and you will receive half the points. Did you know? One of the oldest olive trees in the world that's estimated to be about 4,000 years old still produces olives today. It's on an island called Crete in Greece. But this is not it. Evidence shows that the olive tree is here for as long as 20 to 40 million years. And humans have been eating olives from the last 5,000 to 6,000 years. Not only are they tasty and you can add them in pasta, pizzas, salads, and wraps, but olives are also very good for your health. They protect us from heart and brain diseases and heal our livers too. And interestingly, they give a glow to our skin. And if you let your moms massage your hair with olive oil, they'll become super shiny, healthy, and long. Sounds fun, right? Oh, th there's that sound again. It's a bonus question for team two for an extra five points. <laughs> team two, in Urdu, can you tell me another fruit mentioned in the Holy Quran? Mm. So, banana, in Urdu it's Kela, and in Arabic it's Mounds. Amazing, that's the correct answer. You get five points. Okay, moving on to our next round. Our fifth round is called, It's Up To You. This is a just for you round with one question per team. In this round, you will get to choose uh, which round you want to answer a question from. The other, team will, oh, the other team will have to answer for five points, only if the first team do not get the correct answer. Okay, team one, you're up first. You will choose one topic for yourself and one for team two. As a reminder, the rounds were number round one, I'm a Muslim, round two, around the globe, round three, an apple a day, and round four, Apur Duatiha. Okay, team one, which round would you like to choose? Apu Urdu Atiha. For Apu Urdu Atiha. In Urdu, what two days are the weekend in Canada? Hafta, which is Saturday, and Atawar, which is Sunday. Amazing, you got the right answer. Okay, now team one, which round will you choose for team two? Around the globe. Okay, T uh, team two, for around the globe, which country's lakes and rivers account for 20% of all the fresh water on Earth? Canada. Amazing, you also got the right answer. Did you also know that Canada has the longest coastline in the world, with it being over 243,000 kilometers, and the smallest being in Monaco, with only five kilometers? Team two, which round would you like to choose? Um, I'm a Muslim for us. Okay, for I'm a Muslim, what is the name of the stone in the corner of the Kaaba in Arabic? Hajjaya Aswad? Hajjaya Aswad. What? Hajjaya Aswad. Hajjaya Aswad? Amazing, you got the right answer. Now, team two, which round will you choose for team one? Around the globe. Okay, team one. Your question is from around the globe. This country has more people than any other country in the world with a population of 1.4 billion. What country is it? China. Amazing, you got the right answer. Did you know the Great Wall of China is over 21,000 kilometers long? 
and also over 10 million people visited there each year. So we're at the end of our question round, and now we're on to our round called Find That Word. For this challenge, we ask your parents to have a Holy Quran ready with the same English translation. I'm going to give you a bunch of clues, and you have to follow the clues to find a specific word I'm looking for. And when you have the word, you have to write the word on, on a paper in English. Then you can buzz in. But do not show me the word until I ask you in the end. The team that finishes first with the correct answer will get 15 points. And the second team to get the correct answer will get 10 points. <clears throat> do you have the Quran ready? Yes. Okay, so this word can be found in the chapter or the surah that is two multiplied by 10, which is in the 16th part or sifara of the Holy Quran. Once you find the right surah, go to the verse that is five less than 120, 120. Once you find the right verse, it will be the last word of the verse. Are you ready? Starting the time in three, two, one, go! La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, Rabbi Zidni ilma, why to get to know Allah? Allah has shown us brightness, the Quran is filled with guidance, science and faith go hand in hand, see the beauty in God's land, why to get to know Allah? Start by saying Bismillah, you'll succeed inshallah. Sharing knowledge is the key, here's a test for you and me. Fight to get to know Allah. La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, Rabbi Zidni ilma. Fight to get to know Allah. Okay, team one, you buzzed in. What is your answer? Ilma, which means knowledge. Yes, that's correct. You received 15 points. In chapter 20, verse 115, the last word is knowledge, and it is a part of the prayer we are taught to help increase our knowledge, which is Rabbi Zimni Ilma. Oh my Lord, increase me in knowledge. Team 2, it is okay if you did not get the word right, but do you know what the surah is for five points? No. Well, okay, that's okay. You tried your best. The answer was actually Surah Taha. <clears throat> okay, team one finished the fastest for 15 points, but team two tried their best. Mashallah, amazing effort, guys. Now let's check the scoreboard to see who the winning team is today. The winning team will go through to the finals and have a chance to be crowned NTA Little Legends champions. Team 2 comes in 2nd place with 50 points. Barakalaulakum! And Team 1 comes in 1st place with 75 points. So the winner of this game is Team 1 who comes in 1st place with 75 points. Barakalaulakum! And a big thank you to Team 2 for amazing effort and participa participation. For more fun games and trivia, make your way over to mta.tv forward slash ca. So, MTA viewers, that's it for our game today. We hope that you all had as much fun watching us today as we had fun making it for you. Stay safe. May Allah be with you all. And from us to you, until next time, Assalamu Alaikum. Assalamu Alaikum. La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, Rabbi Zidni ilma. Why to get to know Allah? Allah has shown us brightness, the Quran is filled with guidance. Science and faith go hand in hand, see the beauty in God's land. Why to get to know Allah? Start by saying Bismillah, you'll succeed inshallah. Sharing knowledge is the key. Here's a test for you and me. Fight to get to know Allah.